All right, I got a question asking how to turn fractions into decimals. So got a couple uh, fractions up here for you. And um, obviously the easiest way is to take your calculator and do two divided by three and hit enter for this first one. Okay, it's gonna give you 0.6 repeating. If you're not allowed to use calculators, I'll go over that here in a second. But for this first one, you get 0 0.6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, all the way through. It might say seven at the end of your calculator, depending on what calculator you have. Uh, but what this is really saying is, is six repeating, all right? Six repeating, which just means that we don't need to write the rest of them. We can just write 0 0.6 with a line over it, and that means repeating. Okay, and I can figure out the other two as well just by doing 9 divided by 11, enter, 15 divided by 32, enter, and that would give me the decimals that are appropriate for those. However, we're going to try to do it a little bit longhand today, see if we get the same things. And I'm going to put my calculator away. And let's try it. So first off, we have to do 2 divided by 3, which means that if you remember back to um, back to elementary school, we did some long division. That's what we're doing here. 2 divided by 3. We all know how to do long division, so I'll spare you, and I'll just do this in fast motion. All right, and you can see that we get the same thing, 0. 0.6 repeating, or 0. 0.66666 going on forever. Again, you only have to write the first or you only have to write the numbers, whether it's one, six, like in this case, or multiple that repeat and put the line over all the numbers that repeat. In this case, just the six. So 0 0.6 is the decimal that corresponds to two thirds. What about 911? Same idea here. We're going to take nine divided by 11. So again, do our long division. I'll speed up for you. All right, and clearly this one um, is going to also repeat, but this time it's with two digits, right? The one and the eight, or the eight and the one, I should say. So it's 0 0.818181. You can see that pattern is just going to continue. No matter what I do in that long division, we're still going to get 90 minus 88, which is two. Bring down to zero, 20 minus 11 is nine, and it just keeps going on and on that way. So again, the way I'd write that answer is 0 0.81, repeating by putting the bar over the eight and one. All right, last one, number three, uh, 15 divided by 32. Try to put in a nasty one for us, um, just so we can see what happens. Uh, let's try it again with our long division. We're gonna take 32 and see how many times it goes into 15. I think it's gonna be a lot. All right, and this one you can see it took a while, but um, after doing the math, we ended up with 0 0.46875, okay? And eventually I did get to be zero at the end. And so therefore, 15, 30 seconds is the same as the decimal 0 0.46875.